But it wasn't just manufacturers who sought protection. Farmers like it when food prices are high. So when a French farmer, say, finds that African farmers are beginning to sell their produce in Europe, he's not happy. Our EU commissioner knows the routine. Tariffs, quotas, regulations, saying you need to wear berets and drink Ricard to grow food. This is particularly pernicious for African producers of food who find that they face a big tariff barrier when trying to export to Europe. Now, that's bad for them because they can't earn money, and it's bad for British consumers because their food costs more. But not content with trade barriers, farmers wanted the EU to drive food prices still higher. To that end, the EU bought gigantic amounts of agricultural produce and simply allowed it to rot, creating an artificial shortage which pushed up prices. These were the famous wine lakes and butter mountains. In northern France, part of the so-called butter mountain. The British say that heaps of butter like this are indefensible follies. The French say they're necessary and completely sensible. It didn't take long for people to wise up to the absurdity of it. Um, and not just its absurdity, it's immorality, frankly. All this is rotten for us consumers. Because of the EU, for decades, food and drink has cost far more than it should. It adds between 10 and 20% to the cost of food. 